Right, hello and welcome to WrestleMania. WrestleMania. What was the whole gimmick with Walt Culture then? Is that like the wee theme song for it or the motto? But anyway, this is going to be 10 reasons why WrestleMania 33 will suck. And to be honest, there's a lot. There's a bigger chance of it sucking, being complete <laughs> and utter pish compared to it being going to be good. And anyway, these are going to be in no particular order because I'm just going to fly off the top of my fucking head. And if people don't like that, you can go and hang yourself. Anyway though, number 10, 14 matches. That is going to fucking drag in like an um, like a fucking funeral that you did not want to go to. Well, who wants to go to a funeral? Even though sometimes funerals are actually better than half the shit you actually do in your life. But anyway, that ain't the point here. It's basically, I mean, it's like six hours, like whole show probably fuck, like including the pre-show obviously like so pff, i mean that's just fucking brutal i mean 14 matches like i mean come on to daniel benoit number nine is going to be the big brock lesnar versus goldberg and this is in no particular order right so it's just fucking reasons fired at you because why no and i uh, this match will probably be a letdown it'll probably be it'll probably last about two minutes or like 19 seconds because Lesnar will squash Goldberg but I, I don't think it will but it probably will I don't even know what matches the main is that the main event? couldn't tell you right going in to number 8 the New Day are hosts I mean for the I mean the New Day are pish it's just the way they get oh, it's, just, it's just fucking it's irritating so you see the way they get on like I mean you just want to slap them a bit well, I wouldn't want to slap them, that's pathetic and PG, i just bloody get the double barrel shotgun through the letterbox. Alright pal, bang, good night, fucking deed. But anyway, you can't do that because I'd be murder and I'd probably get done in. But anyway, moving on though, too big, number 7 of why this heap of shit is going to suck. Um, big match John will probably beat them as, to be honest, I've got nothing wrong with big match John winning. I mean, this is probably going to be a reason why it sucks, but Miz should win, really. Uh, another reason why it'll probably suck. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. I mean, it'll probably be a good match, but the fact is, AJ Styles should be fighting someone better. I like Shane O'Mac. I mean, but uh, AJ Styles he deserve better. He should be against Taker, if not Roman the fucking Jabr Jabroni Reigns. Uh, going in, I mean, I said it'd be easy to pick reasons why this mania will suck, like, but see so right now, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Oh shit. Well, it'll be great. I forgot to include all the legends. Aye, well, anyway, this one will probably suck because, like, the, I mean, has there actually been any legends that are going to be happening? Like, so, aye, this will be number, reason number four of why, well, reason, reason number, we buy I count it down from ten like a fucking tool. So, this is reason number six, but that means there's four to go after this. Fuck, I don't know. Right, so yeah, right, moving on though to reason number three, if Roman Reigns beats The Undertaker, I think everyone that is a wrestling fan, besides the two blind and deaf kids that like Roman Reigns, will be tanning their wrists on the 2nd of April, although in the UK it'll be the 3rd of April, and by the time it ends in fucking America it'll probably be the 3rd of April, but I think the point, the point is, if Roman Reigns beats Taker, right, everyone is going to bloody hang themselves. Number three, right? Still on the topic of Reigns Taker, right? See if he beats him. Like, see if he beats him, right? And it's like, healy. Heal? Way. I mean, I could, I mean, I'm not going to like it, but I can deal with it. But see if he beats him as a face. Like, Roman Reigns can go and hang himself. He's pish. I mean, the, the, I mean could have turned him heel every bloody match he's been in, but no. Alright, going on to reason number two. And this will probably be Taker's last match. I mean, he needs hip surgery. I mean, everyone wanted him to go out against Cena or like Sting or something. You know what I mean? Or you know, what I, mean? I don't, I don't know. Fucking not Roman Reigns. I mean, like, can you imagine in twenty years' time? Oh, who's Taker's last match against? Oh, Roman. Oh, what? What? Think of the names. We're seeing twenty years' time. Roman Reigns is gonna make another Luther Reigns, generic guy that's been pushed by big Vince McMahon. I get Vince McMahon and the number one reason even though there weren't any in any specific fucking order is that it's it's just see the card I mean it's all right but I, I don't know it, it just feels like the wrong people are in the wrong matches 
I mean, where's Samoa Joe on this card? I mean, the fucking, this is fucking bot. Like, where's Kurt Angle? Well, Kurt Angle against Styles would be better than Shane McMahon against Styles. Like, you know what I mean? But anyway, this will do it. Leave it down below if you think it's going to be great or if it's going to be, or if it's going to suck. You know, which, whichever gets the most views out of, like, well, 10 reasons why it'll be great and 10 reasons why it will suck. Then that's how it will base it on what it's going to be come the 2nd of April. And uh, today's, I'm recording this, and what is today? Today is Tuesday. And I, uh, it's on the Sunday. I'm falling asleep here. So until next time, peace. Alrighty.